Yo, oh, what's going on? Not much. All right, good. Just buying everybody Oregon stuff. Getting yeah, right. Ready of course. To be huge fans. Uh, there's a ton of stuff at the end of the year. There's all the year end recaps, and then at the beginning of the year, there's more stuff about what's going to happen in 2023, what to look forward to. These are the most common predictions. Should these fads go away in 2023? I see that stuff constantly. But I did see one. I was like, okay, this is actually interesting. This is uh, experts a hundred years ago in 1923. They were asked to make uh, predictions about what life will be like in 100 years. Oh, okay. And we're there now. And so I thought it was interesting to go through these to see what their predictions were. You want to hear them? Yeah, please. So here's one of them. People will work a max of four hours a day. That's us. Said, no more hard work by 2023. They said electricity would make it all possible. And if, I don't know if you read the entire report, if it goes into the possibility of things like the internet or, or cellular phones. I know people have talked hmm. about phones that you carry. That's but, interesting. I also, when you think that, you're like, okay, well, people are working longer than that, but, I, you know, was, was it close with, uh, you know, they'd be working from home, which wouldn't, you know, really be work to them in 1923? Like, you're not going to leave home. You may just have to talk to people on the phone or whatever, right? Right, but also if you look at, like, when we started getting email on our phone and, you know, the internet changed everything, right. Everyone at the, at the beginning said, this will make life so much easier. But instead, your workload just went up, and our GDP went up with it, right? Sure. So it helped in so far as that. But it just meant we accomplish more with less work. So I think if you said, hey, I want to get the same amount of work accomplished that they were getting accomplished in eight hours 100 years ago, sure. I could probably do that in four right, hours. Sure. Now. We're just accomplishing more. The next one is they said there would be no ugly people by 2023. They missed that. Yeah. Said they thought beauty pageants would become obsolete, which they're starting to, right? There, I feel like there's a lot of pushback yeah, and okay. people calling them sexist. Um, and they said uh, they would have to stop doing them, though, not because they're sexist, but because, because everybody would be beautiful? everyone would be so good looking. Yeah. No, it didn't happen. And I wonder, like, there's no hyperlink in that one, so I can read that actual report, but did they, were they talking about plastic surgery or, like, genetic stuff? We're gonna, Probably we'd breed them out. Right, we'll breed out. Because pretty people are just going to keep banging pretty people, and then sooner or later, we're just going to have pretty people. Uh, they also said that women will paint their teeth black. Little did they know. Right. We're still having sex, man. <laughs> Ugly people still banging. And sometimes we forget a condom. <laughs> women will paint their teeth black to be fashionable. Now, people actually whiten their teeth now. Yeah. But for some reason, they thought that women would paint their teeth black because it would look good. Hmm. I've never seen that. Now, me you know, neither. I'm not. But that's not. If you told me in 100 years that that's the new thing. Yeah. Okay. I'll if you told me in three years, that's the new thing. I'll take a look. Girls in, you know, L.A. are painting their teeth black before yeah. they go to concerts. I'd be like, oh, yep, yeah, that it, makes it sense. It sounds kind of intriguing. Black. Clip on, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, Paul Wall wears a grill. You right. Know, lots of it's people not, not that far off. That no. was, I mean, it hasn't happened. But if you told me that was, if you even told me that was a big thing next summer. Right. I'd be like, yeah, okay. Right, and it just takes off. And right. we've been trying to whiten our teeth. I know that you can whiten your teeth a little bit, but it, it's not super easy. It's difficult. It takes time. It seems like it would be pretty easy to just paint your teeth yeah. black. So if that were the fad, everyone could do it. Gasoline will be replaced by radio waves, powering your car by blasting radio waves. So they're talking about like Tesla, you know, yeah. wireless electricity, and that that's how we would power our okay. vehicles. Well, it didn't work. It but didn't I'm... work. We're still not there yet. You know, we're still... That is a cool idea, though. Still got to have a battery. People are still working on it. They actually... There is something. I just read an article. There is something that can now be powered uh, by the... Uh, I think it's the radio waves that are just in the air. Some small device. But that was just a couple days ago. So I know they're working on it. Uh, the average life expectancy in 100 years, they thought right now we'd be at 100 years old. Mm. They figured we'd live to be 100 uh, on average, one expert said, no, I think it's more like 300 by well, 2023. You know, they probably thought we'd take better care of ourselves. It says uh, the average in the U.S. back then was just 57 years old. It's now around uh, 76. Yeah. And they probably, you know, there's always hope and optimism. Sure. Like that doesn't disease. go away. So you're probably like, oh, well, you know, they're going to treat the planet fine. We're not going to have all this, all this stuff that kills us. Yeah. Right. They would never think we're going to put high fructose corn syrup in bread. Right. Like, right. What? They did What? Well, I got to think, too, they just think that we would figure out how to cure disease. I've talked to a yeah, lot of smokers. And we'd be healthier. Because people who started smoking in the 60s, 70s, as you hear a lot of them who said they thought by the I time they were old enough, there'd just be a cure for That's it. That's why I, I, I used to say it all the time when I started. Yeah. Are you kidding me? There'll be a cure. There'll be a cure. I what, 30 years from now? Yeah. There'll be a cure. They'll and like, there is it. no cure. You're like, damn, I kept doing this. Uh, and the next uh, prediction they made, again, these were predictions from 100 years ago for 2023. They said cancer will be eradicated. So that would help people to get up to that average life expectancy of 100. Homes won't have kitchens anymore. Um, says that one basically said we'd have uh, ways to make food using, this is a quote here, chemical formulas, and we would no longer need to cook. 
Oh, like uh, military rations. That's what I was thinking, like an MRE yeah. or something that you just add water, like in a sci-fi thing. Well, I feel like expands. I've seen those. You saw those in the 70s, too. Yeah. Like they made an attempt okay. at that, I think. So uh, when we were on vacation right before we came back, on one of those daily deal sites that I look at, they were oh, selling. Saw you saw the ba- bucket yeah. of food? Mm-hmm. Salvation Army, or is that what it was? Red Cross. Red Cross bucket of food. It said it had like 95 meals in it. Yeah. And then it came with milk that's good for 100 yeah. years. I was like, I should just buy this. Some of those when just I was. eat it every day. Uh, overseas, we had MREs sometimes. Yeah. I wish you could get MREs Some of them now. were really good and some of them were bad. Really yeah. bad. Yeah, some of spaghetti them Spaghetti and good. meatballs was awesome. Like when they brought them out, everybody would be like, oh, let me find that spaghetti. I like it. And them. another one was like like a pork chop. And you're like, mm, boy. A little bit. It tasted yeah. like a pork chop. But the temperature, but texture, no, the, the temperature because you put hot water, oh, yeah. so you make it as hot as you want. But the texture was a little spongy, like. Okay. But, oh, they're not perfect, but I, I right. would eat them. If I had MREs, I'd eat them. I would every say day. that was the one that I remember being horrible, and you'd eat it. If yeah. it was here now, you'd eat it. Didn't each one come with the candy bars? I recall there was always yeah, no, a dessert yeah, Sometimes in there. matches. Oh, really? I yeah, never saw the uh, matches. Different stuff. Uh, so no kitchens. They were wrong about that. Telepathy will exist. It said that we will be able to speak telepathically even with babies. Now I don't know what. You know, they thought was going to happen if we just mm-hmm. evolved to become telepathic, or if they thought that we were going to hook some devices to our heads. But they thought that we would be able to communicate without All right. vocal cords, I guess. Uh, and finally, kidney koozies. So kidney koozies, like beer koozies, and it's to keep your internal uh, organs warm. I guess they must have thought that keeping your internal organs warm at all times would make them happy and healthy. Mm. So they thought we'd be wrapping our kidneys in in koozies. I'm not, again, not opposed to it. The okay. doctor says, hey, this would really help if we just put some of these koozies around your heart. Yeah, we're just koozies. like a koozie Yeah, that you're wrapped around. Of course we would. Yeah, I'm good with that. The truth is, when you do these predictions, humans are optimistic a lot of times. Yeah. And they think how great everything's going to be. And then we realize it doesn't change that much. Now, I get it. A hundred years ago, if they saw what we're doing with phones and the internet, that's huge. But isn't that Yeah, but really... they also would be with the other stuff we're doing. Like, what? You guys are idiots. Right. You're wasting time. Right. You're binge watching shows. What are you right. talking about? This is what you do all night. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to get a new TV. <laughs> right. That's what I'm going to do. But it would only take them a couple months to slide right into Yellowstone. Absolutely. <laughs> right in. Absolutely. Like, you know what? I'm good. 